it's very good to be here in Belfast today. Uh, I was in the House of Commons this morning to listen to the Prime Minister's statement and then I got on a plane and came here because I wanted to have the opportunity to meet biz uh, representatives from a range of businesses from across Northern Ireland to hear their views on uh, the deal that we agreed at Cabinet yesterday. And it's very clear from the conversations I've just had that actually what businesses and people in Northern Ireland want is politicians to come together, do the right thing, think about the national interest and support the deal so that we can leave the European Union on the 29th of March next year in a measured, organised, coordinated way that is right for the United Kingdom and the people of Northern Ireland. Uh, Minister, how would you describe the car crash that's unfolding in London at the moment? I wouldn't describe it in that way at all. I would describe it as a very difficult decision. And government takes difficult decisions, and this is probably one of the most difficult decisions that government faces. How do we deliver on the vote of the British people that was made uh, two and a half years ago to leave the European Union? And it's not easy. Nobody ever said this would be easy. But the Cabinet has decided, and those people who served very, very well as Secretary of State and Ministers who've decided they can't support the deal, well, quite rightly collective responsibility requires them to to support the deal and, and therefore they have to leave government but uh, the majority of the cabinet is behind it the remaining members of the cabinet are absolutely behind this deal and what we need to do now is get behind the prime minister and get that deal sorted in the in the november council this is a deal that's about the union this is about the united kingdom and a good deal for the union and and um, uh, you know, as I say, it's very, very complicated. We are unwinding 40-odd years of joint laws, economic policy, regulation, etc. That is never going to be easy. But I think when people actually sit down and go through the detail, and it is incredibly technical detail, and they see the safeguards that have been put in place, and they see the way that the people of Northern Ireland have been put at the heart of this, they will see that this is the right deal for the United Kingdom. Look, uh, uh, the confidence supply is a matter for the chief whips from the two parties. The point here is that the government has a deal. This is a deal that the 27 member states of the European Union are prepared to sign up to. Now, you know, I've been standing in front of you where you've told me we'd never get a deal. We have a deal. You've stood in front of me and said that we'd never have a deal that didn't see Northern Ireland being carved off in a separate customs territory. That is simply not the case. I think people need to sit down, read this for over 500 pages of detail absorb it, understand it, and see the safeguards that are in place. And I think then, in the national interest, they will do the right thing and vote for the deal. Can you understand the DUP's reaction? As I say, you know, this is something for cool heads now. People need to understand this is the deal on the table. This is the deal that the 27 member states are prepared to sign up to. I think that what the British people and the people of the United Kingdom want to see is the government delivering on the vote that was held in June 2016 to leave the European Union. That was the decision of the British people, and this is the way that we will do that. Well, uh, the, the decision about who is the leader of the Conservative Party is a matter for members of the Conservative Party. But I support the Prime Minister. There's no better person to do this job. I supported her for leadership in 2016 because this is a woman that gets the job done. This is a woman who's gone out and negotiated hard. And, and as I say, I think people need to sit down with cool heads. They need to read those over 500 pages of detail and they need to see what has been achieved in the national interest. Yeah. And the DUP that you were keeping sweet all your time over here, are you disappointed? about them? Well, my job has been to work for the whole of the Northern Ireland, all of Northern Ireland, everybody in Northern Ireland, no matter how they vote and no matter uh, what community they, they come from. My job is to represent them in Cabinet. I mean, you know, in March this year, the only proposal on the table was that Northern Ireland would be in a different customs territory from the United Kingdom, from Great Britain. That is not the case now. Um, what we agreed in December last year in the joint report was that we would resolve the issue of no hard border on the island of Ireland uh, in a way I ideally through the overall UK-EU relationship, but we would have a backstop, an insurance policy. Now, none of us wants to be in that insurance policy. What we all want to do is resolve this through the overall relationship, but there are safeguards in place to protect the Union and to protect the constitutional and economic integrity of the United Kingdom. But in terms of the single market, Northern Ireland would be different. No, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland will not be in the single market, it will not be in the customs union. It will be leaving, along with the whole of the United Kingdom, on the 29th of March next year.